The winner of the display category was Gardens by the Bay by Wilkinson Air Architects. So just introduce yourself and then tell us about the, the office you work in and about this, this project. Uh, my name is Paul Baker. I am a director of Wilkinson Air Architects based in London. Uh, we have a small office in China. And um, I'm one of a team that worked on this extraordinary project, uh, which was won in a competition, I think, seven years ago, led very much by the landscape strategy with Andrew Grant and with fantastic environmental engineer, at, um, Patrick, and uh, amazing structural engineer sitting over there, uh, Neil Thomas. Um, Tell us a bit about it then. I mean, it's a garden, isn't it? But um, it has these two different striking structures of the greenhouses and then these super tree structures. Tell us about the, the greenhouses, first of all. Um, the brief for the conservatories was very standard and very specific about the light and the humidity. The, everything else was entirely open. So there was no actual uh, requirement for them to be two shapes, two buildings. There were two climates to be defined, and uh, one of them was Cloud Mountain, uh, and hence we thought we should do a mountain inside a building, and the other one was about the Mediterranean world. So again, we thought, what's different from a mountain? Okay, let's do a valley. So we created two forms that related to that sensibly. The story of sustainability is partly represented by the super trees, we had to expel a lot of het air. We needed, eventually we came around to the concept of a biomass boiler fueled by the cuttings of the rain trees around the streets of Singapore. Uh, hence, we needed some flues. Andrew was very keen on the idea of making more than just a very flat piece of reclaimed land, animating it in some way, to compete with the quantity of development that's going to happen all the way around it. So the integration of the conservatory thought, the, the mechanics of the conservatory, helped to generate the idea of the super trees. So they're almost like chimneys in a way then? Two or three of them are chimneys and, and flu extracts. They also create shade and, apart from anything else, the beautiful planted gardens. But the idea of the two being linked and, to some extent, being able to tell the stories of how the conservatory works through the analogy of the super trees and how they function is part of that. One of the rather amazing things about Singapore is that things do grow. So typically there's lots of examples of vertical planting around the world, but they need a lot of irrigation and a lot of work. And you only have to look at the rain trees here because quite, quite a lot of them have plants growing on the boughs. So it's quite a natural conclusion to then think that you could actually put things in air and get them to survive. So the idea of vertical gardens was very much part of it. And as I say, creating some real drama in a very flat landscape. And tell us about the experience of working on, on the project, of working in Singapore. It's, it's on reclaimed land, isn't it? It's, it's sort of it is reclaimed it's pretty, land, yeah. It's pretty spectacular and unusual for a garden, isn't it, of this scale? Um, yeah, it was reclaimed about 30 years ago. It had been left as a park, and the government, I think, took a very uh, bright, brave decision, a very valuable piece of land right in the centre of Singapore. To actually retain a large park is part of three parks. There's Marina East, Marina South, and Marina Central as well. Uh, this is the first one to be established, and I think their belief was that by keeping a park and actually pushing it into the center of the plot, they started to increase the, the uh, commercial value of the perimeter. Um, I think the central park analogy is quite often used. So I think they had some very good foresighted thoughts about how to make this a special place. But you're right, reclaimed land is difficult. Um, it's quite easy to put heavy buildings on reclaimed land because you put a lot of weight on top. Uh, little structures, not the conservatories, but little structures like the bridges and the pavilions uh, are piled, but they quite possibly start to pop out of the ground <laughs> if you don't do it right. So it's tricky. It has lots of issues. Well, it's a very spectacular project. Congratulations very on winning the category and good luck for later on. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>